want to, um, what this report does is to really harness that opportunity and say, how can we bring in some of um, the economic growth that might result from that? So um, as I'm mentioning here, given the changes and opportunities, the Laytonville Area Municipal Advisory Council, MCOG, and the Local Government Commission partnered to submit the application that Mr. Dow mentioned um, that results in this report that you should have in front of you today. Um, <clears throat> leading up to the report, the Local Government Commission conducted a charrette. A charrette is a highly participatory workshop, usually held over five to seven days, that um, involves as much of the community as will show up. And, and we were very successful <laughs> at involving um, a full spectrum of the Laytonville community, about 250 participants in all over the course of a week, including tribal members, seniors, uh, youth, downtown business and property owners, and community service providers such as the Long Valley Health Center. Uh, Sheriff Allman participated in some of our focus groups. Supervisor Pinches was present at many of the events. We also worked with an advisory committee to advise the process all the way along. And we coordinated very closely um, with a number of different people from Caltrans, with MCOG, County Department of Transportation, and County Department Department of Planning and Building Services. So this was, um, it included a lot of people. I think there's two real distinct um, kinds of value to this report. One is that it's a planning document. It's a conceptual planning document and we all know that funding follows planning. And so this puts Laytonville in a much better position than it's ever been to be eligible for funding to help implement some of these concepts. Now, there's also a second type of value, and that's some of the concrete outcomes that came out of this planning effort. I'm going to take just a couple minutes to mention some of those. You'll see in the appendices um, some detailed recommendations developed by our consultants, Fair and Peers, transportation planners and engineers, for the Branscombe Trail. Um, the, this is the trail that's an informal footpath that goes along Branscombe Road and it's being upgraded with um, County DOT's Safe Routes to School project. We provided some very specific recommendations and when they came to Laytonville last week to um, present the final design, we found that there was a lot of consistency and we'd like to think that the recommendations in this report helped to inform and help them in their process. This report also identifies gap closures and funding sources to help with those gap closures. And, and what I mean by that is that once these county DOT projects as well as the Caltrans projects are constructed, there still will be major gaps, especially in the pedestrian infrastructure in downtown Laytonville. We've identified those in this report and we've identified specific funding sources um, to help to fill those. I want to also point your attention to Chapter 7, which is Design Guidelines. This is a standalone document. It was at the request of the Laytonville community, especially the downtown business owners, as well as the LAMAC, that we um, developed these design guidelines. And they're significant, you know, they don't, they don't really have any teeth, but what they do is they say, this is consistent with what we want the character of Laytonville to look like. And um, there is a lot of community support for this, and especially for the LAMAC being the entity to use these design guidelines to review any projects that may come before the LAMAC. Let me give you a couple of examples of specific recommendations that you're going to find um, in the report. Um, and I should mention that the specific recommendations fall under each of the chapters, and each of the chapters represents community priorities that were identified through the charrette process. So those priorities include identifying um, the boundary of Laytonville's town center. It's, currently, it's very amorphous. There's a lack of continuity. The second, the number two top community priority was affordable housing in Laytonville. Number three was some kind of wastewater treatment system, whether it be centralized or decentralized. Number four, um, non-motorized transportation and circulation. Number five, sustainable and economic development. Number six, preserve open space. And number seven, 
um, reduce vehicular traffic and speed, or not <coughs> reduce the number of cars, but reduce the speed and the impact of that traffic along Highway 101. So during the charrette process, these were the top community priorities that came out, and the recommendations fall under those. Um, some of those specific recommendations include creating gateways at the north and south end of town to announce you are arriving in a community. It's time to slow down and treat this as a community. Um, there's also, you'll see in here, a variety of strategies to calm traffic and slow traffic um, through the downtown area on Highway 101. Um, and there are also some concepts, multiple concepts, for a town square that supports local economic development. So although we don't expect the county or Caltrans to take a lead on developing the town square, that's going to be more of a community project if it really um, decides to pursue that. Um, it was the top vote getter in terms of community priorities. In Chapter 9, uh, this is the implementation chapter, you're going to see a fairly exhaustive list of funding resources there. And those are tied to each of the specific project recommendations that you'll see throughout the report. And one other thing in the implementation section that I wanted to point out is that um, currently the Department of Planning and Building Services refers applications for zoning changes within the LAMAC jurisdiction to the LAMAC for review. What is recommended in this report is that the department, in addition, refer applications for building permits within the downtown area to the LAMAC so that the council members, the LAMAC council members, can review those against the design guidelines and then be able to make a very informed, um, not so much a decision, but to advise the Board of Supervisors and various county departments on whether or not this is consistent with what the community of Laytonville would like to see. So this gives the design guidelines, give the LAMAC a tool, but only as long as that coordination can happen between the county and the LAMAC. So you will see that recommendation in there as well. There's lots of other good stuff in here. Um, nice photos, documentation of our public process. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap it up with that, and I'd be happy to take any questions if there are any. Comment. Supervisor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Allison's done a whole lot of work on this project. Uh, it's, it's great to have somebody to come forward and, and do this. It probably wouldn't happen without, without Allison. Uh, it, it's a re been a really exhaustive, uh, kind of a fun process, though, for the last two years. But... Uh, I don't know. Actually, this is a well. It's, I've seen a, this uh, th presentation three times. This is the fourth time it's been. But uh, I just wanted to thank you, Allison, for the work that's going on. It's, I, you know, I think it's a planning document that's, as most plans are just done and set on the shelf and forgot about. With this one's going to actually proceed forward with implementation. It's already in the process. But uh, as you can see, Allison's getting ready to have a baby here in the new future near future and I'm going to be real surprised if he or she don't grow up to be a traffic engineer. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> to the remainder of the board, questions? Comments? Well done. Thank um, you. If I can tag on to that, Allison, um, this to me represents smart growth. It's a very intelligent, very straightforward document. It brings in a lot of public input. It lays out scenarios and funding mechanisms uh, to achieve goals. And uh, I really applaud you and your community and LMAC for uh, working together and bringing this forward in a package that's it's just a great presentation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Maybe $4 gas makes those hitching rails not such a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Dow and Allison. Thank you. Okay, moving forward um, uh, to our notice public hearing at 1130. This is a consideration adoption of a mitigated negative declaration in compliance with CEQA 